Hey guys, I'm G Atherton, two-time downhill mountain bike world champion. We're here in W Bike Park and we've been using the sick Insta360 X3 all day. We've figured out all the best settings and all the best mounts, and I'm gonna talk you through how to use them. Okay, first up, the chest mount, probably my favorite mount. Super easy to use, you just clip it on, make sure the straps are super tight so there's no movement, and you don't really have to worry too much about setting up to make sure you've got the right direction. Make sure you've got one of the lenses pointing forward so the stitching isn't right where the handlebars are, and the shots are gonna look incredible. Super smooth, a really immersive shot. It's probably my favorite POV mount just because it gives you such a feeling of what the rider's doing and what they're going through. The second POV mount is the helmet chin mount. It's super close to eye level, so let's it see what you're seeing. Obviously, below your eye line, so it's not getting in the way. For this one, I'd recommend either the 360 mode or on the 170 degree lens on the super wide angle. Single lens mode is also a great way to capture super sharp 4K vertical shots for social media. This is the helmet mount and surely one of the most classic mounts so good when you're riding in a train with your mates you can use the front angle you can see behind you can see absolutely everything that's going on this is super easy to set up it looks great it's probably one of the camera mounts that i use the most this is one of the wildest looking mounts but also one of the best you can have this mounted backwards in the ponytail mount the footage from this is that third person look it's going to almost feel like you've got a drone following you down the mountain also, you can push it forward into a unicorn mount. This changes the angle completely, gives you that selfie angle. You can see what you're doing, you can see what you're riding. This thing looks insane. The last mount to show you is the handlebar mount, and this is probably the best mount for showing you exactly what's happening on board the bike. Be careful if the trail's super rough, you can get a bit of movement there. This mount's great for flow trails, pedaling through scenic rides, rather than the super gnarly downhill trails. Probably the best thing about this camera is the shoot now, frame later option. I always shoot in 360, so you don't have to worry about framing any of those shots at all. When you get back home, jump on the app, on your phone or on your laptop, and you can frame it however you want. The aspect ratio doesn't matter because you're shooting in all directions. Everything about this camera is super easy to use. It's really intuitive. So get out there and start stacking the flips.